All right, so I've been dying to actually hop on this game and show this to you. Basically, I did go and download the version of um, Fairytale Fierce Fight, which is now out. It's the CN version that's been out uh, for a little bit now. But um, I wanted to go through the game and show you kind of the mechanics and how everything looks. The game isn't that bad. The only thing that I'm just personally worried about, and if anybody can please solve this for me, I would love it. Where the hell is the game marketing? Where the hell is the game globally saying anything? There's only one Twitter account. I've already followed that Twitter account, and that is the CN Twitter account. They don't have a global Facebook. They don't have a global Twitter account. They don't have anything. Kodansha hasn't said anything, though this is officially licensed by Kodansha. They haven't said anything. So I'm so curious, because again, the game launches, theoretically, as it states on the App Store, in 14 days. In two weeks, this game is officially launched. How the fudge are they launching in two weeks with no confirmation, no global presence even, and not even saying anything? Are they just purely relying on the IP to carry and search and, um, what is it, uh, word of mouth, and hoping content creators talk about it? Like, dude, I've never seen a game launch with no Twitter <laughs> or no, like, global uh, presence or at least somebody official saying that we got a global version. I don't know, man. Very, very weird stuff. Uh, originally, when we found it, we found it from going to the Play Store uh, or App Store and searching and finding Fairy Tale has a game. And that's how we learned about it, right? So, again, I'm just, that's the only part that I'm scared because they're not saying anything. Like, say something. Make make a Twitter account for global so people know that the game exists. It's like they're doing zero marketing for it, but um, I don't know what their plan is. So, today, what we got here, though, is CN version of Fairy Tale Fierce Fight. It's been out for about two, three months now. Uh, the game is pretty good. For what it is, I did progress a little bit. I'm on 3-12, which isn't that far into the game. I was trying out the gameplay. I'll be very honest here. It's not... So if you've played MHATSH, a game that I've I played and I've covered, uh, My Heart Academia, the strongest hero, it's not that fluid as that game. It's better, in my opinion, than Don Maki, though. Don Maki wasn't as fluid for me. It had a PC client, but gameplay-wise, it wasn't as fluent. Uh, fluid. This is fluid. This is pretty solid. Uh, for what it is, comboing and everything pr uh, feels pretty nice. It's just the dodge mechanic is a little weird, but for the most part, gameplay, it's pretty good. Uh, what is it? The animations, I, I saw Polaris say that's like a PS2 game. It's not that bad. I, I genuinely think for mobile games we've been getting lately, um, it's pretty good. It's it, The quality-wise is Donmaki, and Donmaki is known as a very good game. So if that's known as a good game, definitely this one is. Um, there is a lot of content, though. This does have PvP and other stuff. I have to sadly unlock it. I'm a little bit away from that stuff, but I'll have different videos on those things. We have a boss mechanic. We have this mechanic also, where it's like we push this dungeon over here. We have this uh, character uh, or boss, and then we can get rewards as we progress through this thing. Uh, this is apparently the summons currency. If I were to show it to you, uh, this is the summons currency. You have, I, I don't know which banner is which. So I don't know what the premium banner in this game is. It's not this one, obviously, because there's no rate up. So maybe it's this over here. On the launch of the game, like when you launch the game, it gives us a news tab. And that news tab says that there is an SSR Urza who's currently on rate up up until the 20th. Maybe I haven't unlocked that thing yet, but apparently that that's the uh, the banner. I have no idea what this is popping up. Give an animation. Okay, okay. So this is SR Urza. That's, that's nothing to do with it, right? What we're looking for, there's apparently a banner with Urza active, which again, I just don't have as of right now. Um, don't know why that is the case. Don't know how far I have to progress. Uh, they also have like a 14 day login. I don't know if this is only CN uh, or if Global gets this. They give you a free Gajiel. He's only SR, by the way. There is also a free Juvia. It's enough shards to craft it. So it's very similar to all these other Chinese gacha games uh, or TSH that has a shard system. Uh, 60 shards will be given to you and 60 shards. I don't know if it's, um, well, for SR characters, 60 uh, is definitely not the number. It's 10, I think, or 20 shards to craft the character. I think this is one character and a dupe. This game does have a dupe system. It also has, again, the currency being this premium currency is gems. I haven't gotten that many after all that I've done. You have to, so in, in order to summon, basically, you have to go to the shop and buy whoops in order to, to summon to go to the shop and then buy the summons currency which is this over here you get 220 for two of them it's on discount and then once you run out of the discount apparently you have to buy now this okay i think this is the premium currency but you don't use it anywhere so i have no idea how to summon yet i'll keep going through the game to see it but i think maybe i have to go further in story or something um because maybe i haven't unlocked it yet or something or there's just no active banner at this moment in time don't know which one uh, is the case here want to see the rates rates aren't terrible but they're not the best it's a 1.5 percent in order to get ssr which again that's not terrible correct i think tsh again another very similar game that's what we'll try to compare it is around 1.2 percent so players were happy with that rate this is 1.5 so it's definitely not that bad 
Um, but it says when using strong recruitment tickets for limited or recruitment characters to recruit, the basic probability for obtaining an SSR mage is 1%, and the overall probability is 1.8%. You definitely obtain um, an SSR mage up to 70. So the pity is 70. 70 summons, and then you get it. I don't know if this game has like a 50-50 system. I've only summoned one so far, and this is kind of it. It also looks like you get one free summon a day. Unless, I, yeah, it is one free summon a day. Uh, so you can push pity. So over the course of 60 days, you will unlock a character just like that. This is the summon animation if you want to take a look into it. Very, very basic. Nothing too, like, special, special. But, um, yeah, I got a shard now. It's three, so I have to get, like, what, five more copies of that? And then maybe? I think it's ten shards to craft a character. Um, but that's kind of how that operates. So it's not a bad thing. This is, like, a free currency. I think this is the free banner because it's, like, no way this is premium. And this definitely isn't premium either. This is the standard banner. So I will find out where the actual banner is because I have no idea. I really have no idea. Uh, maybe I just haven't uh, unlocked it yet. But there's a bunch of events also active. This is like a starter event, which again gives you a bunch of uh, bunch of summons over here. Uh, it has a stamina system. You have to log in every single day to claim your stamina at the certain time that it opens up. Just like TSH. Very similar to gacha games. Uh, Chinese gacha games that do these things. Uh, you also have, again, gem events over here for the starting of the game. Uh, over here and these things aren't unlocked yet but they're uh, those are there too you can also test out a character you can test out juvia so i do think maybe juvia is the character currently released you get two more currency here and two more currency here and 200 um of each i think i claimed this already i think i already did this yep so now he claimed that so that's there as well let's go into some gameplay check out how that cooks up uh but the gameplay really isn't too terrible it's pretty good uh, in my opinion, though players are going to be like, you know, it's it's mid, it's not. I've, I've tried a lot of gotcha games, right? It's not fluid like PGR, right? Punishing Grey Raven. It's not like that type of aspect. But for a fairy tale game that I've kind of wanted, it's not half bad. Definitely, again, not the best, but it's not half bad. Um, so again, it also has auto tracking. I already set that up as auto tracking so that it partially does a lot of the buttons for me. You have the skills over here. Again, I'm playing on PC, so it's a little bit more um, harder to, to kind of do. Uh, or activate these because I'm just relying on clicking. I'm not hitting the buttons. Uh, so again, I did unlock Ajil. He's given to you for free just for, um, again, logging in. And other missions also will give him for free. So again, the abilities over here, they are pretty solid. Characters, I will say, are done justice. It's all of their attacks straight out of the anime. So again, that's there. They also, by the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say this. They actually launched an event for uh, the 100 Year Quest. So because that got an anime announcement, uh, which if you don't already know, yes, the 100 Year Quest has been confirmed, uh, which is the next season of the anime. Um, don't know if it's the final season. I don't know if that's the case, but it's, um, it is the next part of the season, right? So because of that, they actually give a gift code to everybody and a little bit of an event, uh, which is very cool. It's very cool because again, if they're doing things like in line with the anime, when it comes out, the game is going to be pretty heat, um, and pretty, pretty good. But again, it's very similar to TSH. Very, I think it's very fun. I don't know. Players are saying it's like, again, mid on the, uh, the graphics, but for, for what it is, I, I still think it's a little bit more fluid than, uh, than Don Maki, but, um, again, not as fluid as, um. Other games like TSH or that, but gameplay-wise, everything-wise, it's kind of fun. I want to try the PvP. The only thing is, I know that on CN, it's the same thing that happened to me with TSH. I hated the PvP, so I don't want to give a biased take there because the PvP will be very laggy because, again, of the server and whatnot. When I tried it on uh, Fighting Path, it wasn't terrible, but with this, because I'm, I'm, again, comparing it very much to uh, MHA, I think that I might encounter the um, the, lead, uh, the bugs, correct, the um, lag, but we'll see. I'll let you know when I, when I try that out. Because, uh, again, obviously, I'm not there yet. I have to just rank up. It's Most of this stuff isn't even locked behind story. It's locked behind you ranking. So it's a stamina-based thing. You got to push. Got to get a lot of stamina. And then, again, you can rank up over here. Now you clearly see that I'm 14. As I do these missions, I can push up. As I do this over here, again, I can also push up. But I will uh, continue to go through stuff here. If you want to check the characters, I can show you that. So uh, the characters are all here. We have, again, um, so how it works is this. These down here, correct, are like our characters. These over here, which I would have thought were SSR in my opinion, they're not. They're SR characters. And then over here, you get like this gold, dark, dark, uh, like goldish, I guess you can say, uh, color. These are the SSRs. So we have this SSR, which is currently told like on the front, like login of the game. It's telling me that she's the current banner, but I can't find her. So I don't know why that is, but she's um, an SSR. This also was one of the Eurasian Seis, I think, which is also an SSR. Uh, this is one of the people from the Jalal Tower arc. That's also there. I think Arasio and Seis again. Uh, Hades, correct. Also from um, one of the 
earlier arcs phantom i think uh that's the entire thing there uh over here we have makarov in his wonderful uh wizard saints attire looking very cool we have mist again also looking very cool uh an ssr by the way guild art so again they're picking up characters like all over the game again because if you look at it like erasio and Sace is in here these are in here uh guild arts which you meet way down the line in the anime um he's also in here so they've definitely picked around a lot of characters but uh, Jalal also, very cool stuff here. Uh, so yes, you do have Mystic and you do have Jalal. Both are different characters and play freaking fundamentally different. Um, this character, she was... Was she a Rossi on Sace, right? I think so. I think she was a Rossi on Sace, yeah. She fights uh, she, uh, fights Lucy there. Uh, Brain, also part of the uh, Rossi on Sace, part of the Rossi on Sace. So they have this entire thing. Yeah, part, same thing. Loxus also, which looks very cool. His attacks are the sickest. He is my favorite character in the game. Just keep that as a thing. He's my favorite character. Uh, Juvia also, which is the current character um, that I just showed you. But she's for free. So keep that in mind. That's again what it looks like. If you want to see the SR characters, Urza, uh, one of the earlier characters, the, like the first villain. Um, again, part of the other arc with Phantom. Again, again, who cares? Arasio says, or uh, Hades arc. This over here, Wendy. Damn, they gave Wendy SR. <laughs> Damn, dude. Wendy doesn't even get an SSR version. you got to be kidding me. Uh, and then and then our characters over here. So that's kind of what it looks like. I also have this button over here, which I haven't clicked yet. What does this do? There we go. I just did that. Push my level to 15 or something. No. All right. With that, that's basically what I wanted to show you. That's the video. If you want to go and compile everything, go through it like a first little look at the game. I will go into more of the uh, finer details. I'm going to progress as much as I can, and I'll have some guides out uh, within the next 14 days. I don't know what to do. That's what it is. As a content creator, I don't know what to do with this game because I want to play it. I want to cover it. But I don't know what they're doing. Is it actually launching in 14 days? Or is it just a placeholder? It's launching within the year. And that's why there's no promotion. Like, if it's launching within the next 14 days, dude, you suck at promoting. You have to promote the game. I'm so lost. Uh, at least maybe a Twitter. At least maybe... Uh at least maybe the Kodansha Twitter, like the Kodansha Twitter, at least they say, yeah, officially launched uh, or published, uh, what is it, officially licensed, correct, um, globally published game coming out for Fairy Tale. That would be even nice, but maybe the Fairy Tale Twitter or somebody says something, because I don't even know if they're planning this or not. It's like, we just have the apps to go off of, which, again, most games have a Twitter. It's like, it's, it's, bro, we're in 2024, a game having a Twitter, that's not the CN version, correct? That's what we need, but. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Take care. Have fun. Peace out. That's been it for me. That has been a little bit of a first look at the Fairytale Gacha game. Uh, fierce fight. Hope it was a good video. Yeah.